Hello my dear friends, as you can probably guess, in this video will show you how you can open up text doors in PowerPoint. So let's go. And first of all, let me show you where we can find this beautiful taxi car illustration. And for that, let's jump into freepick.com. As you can see over here, we have six beautiful cars, but we need only this taxi. And now let's go to this blue button and we can click on this little arrow. And now we can pick any format that we wish. We could go with JPEG, but let's choose AI Adobe Illustrator file. This way we'll get a better quality. And now let me show you how we can customize this AI file and extract only the taxi. And for that we'll be using Photo-P, a free online photo editor. So let's just drag and drop that AI file into Photo-P and now we can basically select all of the cars that we don't need, let's delete them and let's keep the taxi only. And now we can grab that taxi, let's make sure that we select all of the elements that make up the taxi and let's increase the illustration and this way we'll get a better quality. That's super duper awesome! And we can as well jump into image and let's click on trim image. This way we will remove all of that empty space around the illustration. That's nice. And now let's export this taxi illustration as a PNG image. So choose any file name that you wish and just click on save. And after that we can jump back to PowerPoint. Ok my dear friends and now let's find that PNG image that we have just exported from Photo-P, here it is. Let's insert it into our slide, that's looking beautiful. And now we can resize this taxi, ok. And let's make sure that this taxi is sitting in the center of the slide, that's beautiful. And next let me show you how we can cut up this taxi into different pieces. So let's say we'd like to cut out this door, let me show you how we can do that. And first of all, let's zoom in a little bit so that we can see those doors better. That's looking beautiful. And now we'll have to use the freeform shape tool. So let's go to insert shapes and let's look for the freeform shape tool. Here it is. Let's select it. And now all we have to do is draw a custom shape that will cover this front door. So let's click once to start drawing the shape. Let's click again and let's keep on clicking until we cover the whole door. And as you can see, I'm going a bit outside and this is just to make sure that we include that little mirror on the side. That's beautiful. And as you can see, this custom shape has some full transparency. And as we can see in the format shape, there is definitely some transparency. You can adjust the transparency and this is just to make sure that we can see what's happening behind the shape. Okay, that's really useful. So let's leave it at 50% transparency. And now let's duplicate this custom shape and we can do that by holding down the control and shift keys and let's flip this custom shape horizontally and let's place it on the right side of the car and skadoosh, now we have two custom shapes. And now let's do the same procedure for these two doors at the bottom. And by the way, if you're not happy with how your shape looks like, you can always right click on it and choose edit points to edit any of the points. Ok my dear friends, so all of the four custom shapes are ready that are covering four doors of the taxi and now let's just duplicate this slide and on the duplicate slide let's make sure that we select all of these custom shapes, you can hold down the shift key to do that and now let's go to shape format merge shapes and let's choose union and this way we have merged all of these custom shapes into a single shape and after that let's make sure that we select the taxi first then hold down the shift key, select those unified shapes and this time in the merge shapes let's choose subtract and this way we have deleted all of the four doors from the taxi, that's nice. And now of course we have to fill that empty space, we have to create some kind of interior for this taxi. So let's keep it simple, let's insert a rectangle and let's send it to back. And let's add some colors to that rectangle so that it looks a bit more realistic. Ok my dear friends, so the taxi interior is ready and next let me show you how we can extract those individual doors. So let's just duplicate this slide so that we have a backup. And now on this slide, let's delete the rest of the custom shapes. Let's work with a single custom shape. Select the taxi, hold down the shift key, select this custom shape. And this time let's choose intersect and skadoosh. This way we have extracted this front door on the left. And next, my friends, we'll have to do something really important. As you can see, if I would try to rotate this door, this door rotates around its middle point. But we would like to have this rotation point somewhere at the top of the door. So let me show you how we can create a new rotation center. And let's jump into the view tab and let's activate slide guides so that we can see where is the center of the slide. And now let's attach this door precisely where we would like a new rotation center to be. So somewhere over here at the top of the door. And the next thing that we'll have to do is inserting a circle. So let's insert a circle and let's make sure that the circle is bigger than the door itself. And let's make sure that the circle is sitting in the center of the slide. Let's send it to back. And now we can hold down the shift and control keys to resize this circle from the center. 
and let's make sure that that circle is bigger than this door okay and by the way we can make this circle fully transparent because of course we don't want to see that uh, circle in the final animation so let's make it fully transparent and of course you can as well choose no fill for this circle but i'm going with full transparency and next let's select the circle hold down the shift key select the door and let's right click and choose group and this way we have grouped these two elements into a single group and skadoosh we have a new beautiful rotation center that's super duper awesome and of course later on we'll hide that circle line as well but for now let's keep it the way it is and now let's just copy this group and let's paste it into our slide okay and now we can use the arrow keys to fine tune the position of this door so that it sits where it belongs to sit that's beautiful and next we can double click this group let's make sure that we select that circle and for the outline let's choose no line and this way that circle that we're using to create a new rotation center will be invisible in the final animation and we'll have a new rotation center for our beautiful door that's nice and next let's follow the same steps and let's create the rest of the doors with new rotation centers and once again we can duplicate that backup slide where we have created all of the custom shapes so let's duplicate this slide and this time let's delete the rest of the shapes let's just keep this guy and now let's select the taxi let's select this shape and once again let's use intersect function to extract this door and as before we'll have to create a new rotation center for this door and to make that happen we'll have to insert a circle which is bigger than this door so let me quickly finish creating all of the four doors and i'll catch you in a second Okay, my dear friends, so let's add the last door to this taxi. Let's make sure that this uh, door is sitting nicely where it belongs to. That's beautiful. And as before, let's double click inside of this group. Let's select the circle and let's make sure that for the outline, we're using no outline so that we don't see that circle. Okay, that's looking beautiful. And now all of the four doors have new rotation centers. That's beautiful. We can deactivate slide guides. We don't need to see those guys anymore. And now let's jump into the selection pane and let's give proper names to all of these doors. Because later on we'll be adding animations and having proper names will definitely help us out. Okay, so all of the groups have been renamed and we can click on those little eye icons and check if we have named all of the groups correctly and everything is looking easy peasy lemon squeezy, so let's keep on going. Okay, my friends, and next let's make this slide list on the left a bit more organized. So let's insert a new slide section and let's call it animation. Okay, that's beautiful. And now we can collapse this section so that we can focus on this single slide. That's beautiful. And now let's start adding animations. Let's select this front left door. Let's go to animations. Let's open up the animation pane. Let's make sure that the front left door is selected and let's add a spin animation to this door. Okay. Now for the animation duration, let's use one second. Let's double click the spin animation to jump into animation options. Now for the spin amount, let's choose 90 degrees. For the spin direction, let's use uh, clockwise. That's good. And let's just add a bit of bounce in 0.8 seconds. Okay, so this way the door will open up with a bit of bounce at the end. That's beautiful. And at the same time, we'd like to be able to close this door once it is opened. And for that, let's add a second spin animation. And for the second spin animation, let's use a shorter duration, half a second. Now let's jump into the spin animation options. Let's use 90 degrees once again. But this time for the direction, let's use counterclockwise. And this time, let's use a bit of smooth start and smooth end. 0.25 seconds, both for the smooth start and for the smooth end. That's nice. And now let's give it a preview in the animation pane. And first of all, the door opens and then it closes. Looking beautiful. And now let's make sure that both of these animations are triggered once we click on the door itself. So let's choose trigger and let's choose front left door. So now these two animations will be triggered only when we click on this door. So that sounds really interesting. So let's check it out on the full screen. And by the way, before we continue, let's add a fade slide transition to this slide so that we have a nice fade transition. And now let's check it out on the full screen. 
And once we click on this front left door for the first time, it opens up. And once we click on it for the second time, it closes. And we can keep on repeating this process as long as we wish. That's nice. And next, to save some time, we can use the animation painter to paste the same animations to the rest of the doors. So let's make sure that this first animated door is selected. Let's double click the animation painter. And let's click on the rest of the doors to paste the same animations. That's beautiful. And now we can click on the animation painter once again to deactivate it. And as you can see in the animation pane, all of the animation triggers have been set to the correct doors. So that's super duper awesome. And now let's check it out on the full screen and let's see if those doors are opening correctly. So first let's try these doors on the left side and they're opening nicely, that's beautiful. But these doors on the right, they're opening to the left side as well. It looks like a Lamborghini. So let me show you how we can fix that. And all we have to do for these doors on the right is change the spin direction. So in this case, let's choose counterclockwise. And for the second spin animation, let's choose clockwise, okay? And let's do the same for the second door on the right side. Let's change the spin directions for both of these spin animations. And let's check it out on the full screen. This time, everything should be working as expected. That's looking beautiful. Now, all of the doors are opening and closing the way they should. That's nice. And next, my friends, let's make this door animation even more fun by adding some door opening and closing sounds. Let me show you how we can do that. And first of all, let me once again add a new slide section. And this time, let's call it sounds. Okay. Let's make sure that we type it correctly. Sounds. That's looking beautiful. And now let's just copy and paste this slide into our sounds section. And now let me show you how we can add some sounds. And let me jump to one of my starting slides. And over here, I have these two short clips. So let's just copy these clips. One clip is for the opening sound and one clip is for the closing sound, okay? And let me play these little audio clips so that you know how they sound. And by the way, I have found these awesome sound effects on pixabay.com. Links are in the video description if you'd like to use them as well. And here is an extra tip for you. You can select any of your audio clips, go to Trim Audio and choose any range that you like. And you can use the red and the green handles to set the in and out points of your audio clip. But let's keep it the way it was. So only this portion of the audio clip will be used for the opening sound. And for the closing sound, I'm using this portion. Okay, my dear friends, and now let's jump back to the animation pane and let's make sure that those sounds are playing at the correct time. And for now, let me delete all of these sound animations. Let's do them from scratch. Let's select both of the audio clips and let's add a sound play animation to these guys. And now the first sound animation should play when the door opens. So let's move it just below the first spin animation. Let's set it to start with previous together with the first spin animation. Okay. And now the second audio clip, the closing sound, should play together with the second spin animation. But of course, we don't want to hear that closing sound right away. We want to have some time for the door to close. And for that reason, let's add a bit of animation delay, 0 0.15 seconds. And that should do the trick. So let's check it out. And since everything seems to be working fine, let's add the same sound animations to the rest of the doors. And since we have three more doors, let's make sure that we add six additional play animations that we can use. And now let's select all of these sound play animations and let's make sure that they start with previous. And for each of the second sound animation, let's add a delay of 0.15 seconds. So these are going to be the closing sounds, the door closing sounds. And of course, we don't want to leave all of these six play animations at the top of the animation pane. Let's make sure that we drag those play animations to the correct spots in the animation pane. And I've just noticed that the animation delay for the second sound has reset to 0 seconds. So let's make sure that the second sound has the animation delay of 0 0.15 seconds because we want to give some time for the door to close until we hear that closing sound. Okay, everything is set and let's check it out on the full screen. That 
that's super duper awesome. And by the way, in my original slides, I have added two more scenes. In one scene, the car is arriving, and the other one, the car is going away. So let's check them out. <laughs> And by the way, today's tutorial slides will be attached to my PowerPoint Animation Mastery course that you can find on pptskill.com. And I'll attach these slides to the animated illustration section somewhere over here. And all of my current students with full access are getting these slides for absolutely free because once you join, all of the updates are free. And now, my friends, let's check out the final animation once again. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching my friends and please let me know in the comment section below how you would use this kind of animation idea in your presentations. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.